Hello, my name is Krishna from Best Engineer Project, and today I'm come with another interesting project for electronics hobbyists or even uh, for those who want to build their own digital clock using Arduino. Normally, if you search for digital clock using Arduino, then they generally use this this module a DS1307. But this model is not very accurate because it uses this external crystal oscillator and its frequency can be varied according, according to the uh, external temperature thus the time variation of about 5 minutes per month can be seen. But if you use this DS3231 real time clock module then time variation will be very less that is one or two minute per year can be seen here in this module i am using this uh, micro and uh, micro version or mini version of ds3231 which originally designed for raspberry pi module but i am going to interface this mini ds 3231 real time clock module with Arduino Uno. For source code, circuit diagram, and more further description of this project, please visit the link given in description section. And yes, please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon for more awesome new project. Now let's talk about component required for our project. A uh, DS3231 mini module which is originally designed for Raspberry Pi but here I am going to use this because it is so small and cute you can see one LCD module I am using here a 16 to 2 LCD module but you can use any according to your choice a Arduino Uno board or equivalent Few jumper according to your need a 10 kilo ohm variable resistor in order to adjust the contrast of LCD and a current limiting resistor uh, you can use any uh, N resistor whose value is more than 320 ohms for our prototype I am using one 1 kilo ohm resistor now let's see the circuit diagram here this module DS3231 uses I2C bus which make connection very fast first at first you will need to identify which pin on your Arduino or compatible board are using for the I2C bus. This will be known as STA or data and SCL or clock pin. On Arduino UNO or compatible board, this analog pin A4 is referred as SDA pin and analog pin A5 is referred as SCL pin. Here in module you will see yeah this first one is plus the second one pin is D or you can also say SDA pin third one is C or you can also say SCL pin here fourth pin is NC that is not connected and the last pin is for negative voltage supply or ground now connect this D pin to SJ pin that is analog pin A4 and C that is SCL pin to analog pin A5 as this model can be operated either in 5 volt or 3.3 volt so it's your choice what to use connection diagram of LCD is uh, more or complex or more tidy so I am not going to show here as I had already connect all my LCD with variable resistor for con contrast and a current limiting resistor for supplying lead 
as you can see in software code I had already defined the LCD pin used so I'm just going to connect here this pin I used for ground so I'm just connecting it to ground pin and this gray pin I'm using for 5 volt power supply yeah I'm connecting here the 5 volt power supply and the ground pin to here fourth pin of LCD fourth pin of LCD is going to pin number 12 of this Arduino Uno board where pin number 5 is grounded pin number 6 is going to point or pin D11 of Arduino Uno board now it's time to connect the, all the data pin of LCD here the data pin D4 is connected to D7 of Arduino pin similarly D5 pin is connected to D6 D6 is connected to D5 and the D7 pin is connected to D4 pin here a positive volt supply of 5 volt is given to pin number 15 of LCD through a current limiting resistor that must be the value greater than 330 ohms but not more than 1 kilo ohms and the pin number 16 of LCD is grounded now the entire connection of our circuit is ready now it's time to download the software code or upload the software code to the this Arduino Uno board for that download the software code from the link given in description section open it through your Arduino IDE now open the code in your own Arduino IDE it look like this one here in void setup file I had used three command that is set the initial time here and uh, DS3231 second minute hour day etc there this function is used to set the clock using it is very simple simply insert the value from year down to second and the RTC will start from that time for example if you want to set the following date and time that is in Nepal it's 11 past 26 8 August 21st 2018 now for second I'm going to enter it's might be 30 second 26 minute and it's 11 p.m. so the time will be in 24 hour format so I have to put 23 it's Tuesday so I'm entering here 3 it's 21st August so I had to enter 21st 8th for August and 2018 for 2018 I am entering here 18 note that the time is set using 24 hour time format and the fourth parameter as you can see here here this 3 is the day of week that falls between 1 and 7 which is Sunday to Saturday respectively now remove this comment for this line and upload it to your Arduino you know, board our work is not finished here now you have to comment this line because if you don't do this then every time when you power the Arduino the time will start from this time so I'm going to comment this and again going to upload this to the Arduino you know board initially you have to do that in order to set up the time for this RTC module and after that 
once you set up the time in RTC module it will function because it's already contained one cell that will wake that wake up the circuit internally now I'm going to upload this program again to Arduino board Our digital clock is ready for use. As you see here, it's the time 23 that is 11 past 33 minute past 21 second date. It's 21st August 2018. It's Tuesday in Nepal. Now, this circuit work even if you interrupt the power supply for day, week, or even for month, and the accuracy of the timekeeping would not change because here we are using this high precision DS3231 real time clock module thank you for watching this video please subscribe the channel for more video